Brr. It's Christine Faulkner with Kava and Faulkner, Elk Grove and Sacramento's Living Trust and Estate Lawyer. And I'm here for another edition of The Daily with Christine. This is breaking news. Um, the rapper Six Dogs has passed away unexpectedly. He was a 21 year old artist who has been up and coming since uh, 2016. The cause of his death is unknown, and um, it's such a sad day for the entertainment industry, the music industry, and it's such a sad thing to see so many talented artists um, leaving us. Uh, whether, you know, the, the cause of death is unknown at this point, so I'm not gonna speculate, although I do know that, there goes my door opening. I do know that he was known um, originally for his music about some dark materials, depression, suicide. So it remains to be seen what indeed was um, the cause of his death. But whenever we lose someone in the entertainment industry, it's always so heartbreaking and at the same time interesting to determine, did they take any legal steps to protect their legacy? And so, you know, unlike the ordinary folks, you know, who don't have that creative streak in them, who don't have um, copyrighted works, uh, music that is um, potentially open to uh, royalties in the future that will continue making money even long after the person is gone. Um, these bring such complexity to the, the situation. And um, even if you don't have that kind of situation going on in your life, if you're over 18, this is another example of why it's really important once you become an adult to create some kind of planning. And so in the case of Six Dogs, we don't know whether he created planning for himself and whether in doing so he will have protected his loved ones and keep them out of court and conflict because if not, there is a great, great likelihood that he, his family, his loved ones will end up in a probate process in court, fighting over who even has the right to represent him. And then of course, who has a right to receive his assets, potentially royalties for music that um, has been released, but also maybe even unreleased uh, um, intellectual property that could continue earning um, thousands and thousands into the future. So. Uh, but even if you don't have intellectual property, it is still so important that when you become an adult, when you turn 18, that you be mindful of what would happen to you if you became incapacitated. Do you want just anybody, uh, a judge making a decision about who could make those decisions for you? Or is it important to you that you take control, that you take that control back and you may make those decisions for yourself by naming people in, uh, in capacity documents like a healthcare directive, a power of attorney. And it's so important to create a will once you become an adult, uh, no matter how long you've been an adult, because without it, the state basically is going to look at the state statute and determine who is entitled to receive those assets. And many times, young people who are in their 20s, they're not married yet. They don't have a spouse. Many don't have children, some do. But in California, the state statute indicates that if you pass away and you're not married and you don't have kids, then your parents get everything. And the beauty of having a plan is that you get to choose. And um, none of us want to think about passing away. Um, we all want to think about having long, wonderful lives. But the beauty of thinking about it now is that it frees you up to really fully live your life later, knowing that you've made really solid choices for yourself and that you've taken control of those decisions uh, for yourself, meaning taking, taking time to decide who you want to step in for you in the event you become incapacitated or pass away. And also, who do you want to receive your assets? And most importantly, how, how, how much, you know, how high on the priority list is it um, up there for you to make a really loving gesture for the people who you care about in your life to keep them out of court, keep them from fighting with one another and um, making things as clean as e and easy as possible legally and financially for those people that you do care about. So it is a sad day. I will continue reporting on this, um, this story when we know more about what the cause of death was for six dogs and our heart goes out um, and condolences, heart and condolences go out to his family. 
and um, his his followers. Um, it's a tough day once again to lose uh, a rising star. So thanks for tuning in to another edition of The Daily with Christine. We are here to help. We serve um, families and individuals uh, with estate planning, uh, their estate planning needs, with business planning needs in the Sacramento area, Elk Grove, San Joaquin County areas as well. So we are here to help. Reach out to us if you have any questions about this or questions that we can answer for you to help you um, feel more secure about where you are. We're here to help. Thanks so much for uh, listening and take care.